Hello and welcome to the What's New in Cabinet Vision Solid Version 10 video series. In this video, we'll be going over the new features you can find in the Assembly Wizard. The toe kick branch of the exterior case section of the Assembly Editor has had a couple of new features added to it, allowing for a more accurate and dynamic toe to be created. To see these new features, let's expand out the exterior case branch, then select the toe kick branch, then click on the Edit Part button. Now, the new questions that will be asked to you are a few clicks in, so let's go ahead and skip ahead to them. This is the first new question that is asked. With Cabinet Vision Solid Version 10, we have the ability to define how our toe front will connect to our applied ends. You can see the various options are typical to the toe front. This includes attaching the toe to the front end, attaching the front toe to the outside of the applied end, attaching the front toe to a sub end rather than the applied end, or creating a miter between the two parts. We also have the ability to specify an adjustment value to the front for each one of these options. If we click the next button, the next question is very similar, but allows us to define how the applied end will connect on this joint instead of the toe front. Finally, the next question allows us to define how our sub end would connect to the toe front, either to the back of the toe or to the front face of the toe. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, you now have the ability to control the grain direction for the following parts. Adjustable shelves, shelves, and fixed shelves. We will take a look at our adjustable shelves to see how this works, keeping in mind that all three will work identically. So I'll expand the interior case section, click on the adjustable shelf branch, and then click the edit part button. I can now click the next button until we get to the third question. The assembly wizard wants to know if we align our grain on shelves that have grain with the width of the cabinet or the DX. We can say yes to align it with the width or no to align it with the depth. Starting with Cabinet Vision Solid version 10, we now have the ability to define whether or not we want to allow for complex miters in the assembly wizard. To take a look at what I mean, let's expand out the operations section, select the machining branch, and click on the edit part button. As we can see, our first question deals with how we want to handle miters. It's obvious that these two parts both have unique thicknesses. We now have the ability to specify that Cabinet Vision should attempt to make a miter angle on both parts that will create a joint as shown. Or, we can just have Cabinet Vision create a simple 45 degree miter, no matter what thickness the parts are. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 10. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.